Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing started. We're going to go right into the warm-up. We're going to go for about a two-minute warm-up. Uh, I like to get right to the workout. Um, welcome to uh, workout number three. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the first two workouts. Um, our last workout, we worked out um, shoulders, legs, and abs. Um, I'm sure your legs got pretty sore. I know mine did, so hopefully you guys are feeling a little bit better now. Uh, maybe not, but um, today we're going to be working, going back to chest, back, biceps, triceps, and of course, as usual, abs. Uh, just keep jogging in place here. Hope you guys are enjoying these workouts. I hope you guys stick with it, I'm telling you. If you stick with these workouts, you will get in the best shape of your life. Um, hopefully also you invite your friends to come as well. Nothing like getting in shape together. Alright, let's keep jogging for about another 45 seconds. Hopefully those push-up handles and pull-up bars are ready because we're going to be using them today. Almost there. Only about 15 more seconds. All right, let's get this started. We're going to go ahead and uh, break out those uh, push-up handles. So um, we're going to start with wide push-ups. We're going to do between 10 and 15 wide push-ups. So I want you to keep these handles pretty wide like this. Just do not go too wide to where they will tip over. You don't want hurt your wrists that way. So go wide, but not too wide to the flip over. And remember, um, go down as far on push-ups as you can. If you can't get as many, if you can't get 10 to 15 reps, that's fine. Do as many as you can. Um, if you need to drop down to your knees to do a modified one, you can. All right, here we go. 10 to 15. And there we go. All right, we're gonna go to a chin up next. So chin up, we did pull ups last time, which is this grip. So we're gonna go chin up, kind of an underhand grip. Now I know a lot of you guys just like pull ups can't do chin ups. So remember, if you need to grab a chair, you can put your foot up on the chair to help assist yourself. That's fine. So uh, I showed you how to do those on workout one. So you can use a chair and just put one foot up on the chair. Um, so you help your leg is going to help you bring your chin above the bar. So, and just like the push-ups, range of motion is key. Try to go down as far as you can. All you can get all the way up to your chin is above that bar. All right, we're going to all do ten chin-ups. Here we go. Nice stretch at the bottom. And there we go, good. All right, grab a pair of dumbbells or you can use a couch or a chair, to, something to put your feet underneath. We just need something to hold your feet down. Um, heavy set of dumbbells works well to hook your feet underneath or you can just slip your feet if you're at home, just slip your feet underneath the couch. Just anything to hold your feet down for these twisting sit-ups we're gonna do. So on these twisting sit-ups, we're gonna do 10 on each side. Actually, you don't even need that heavy of dumbbells. Just something. Hold your feet down a little bit. And we're going to do 10 on each side. So here we go. Ready? 
and full twist. Remember, 10 on each side. All right, there we go, all right. We're going to go back to push-ups again, wide push-ups, 10 to 15 again. For those of you, like I showed you um, our last workout, um, where you find push-ups to be easy, um, you can get one of these, it's called a, um, a power push-up, and um, my website, benefit.com, shows you where to order these. If you want to order these, you can order them from Amazon. They're not very expensive, and they help make push-ups more challenging so you never grow out of them. You can continue to make it harder and harder and harder So by adding more resistance. So I'm going to use the power push-up, give myself a little more challenge. So here we go. Most of you just continue with the push-up handles. I'm going to make them a little harder with the power push-up. All right, here we go again, 10 to 15 reps. Wide push-ups. All right, good. Woo, that makes it a lot harder. All right, for anyone who finds chin-ups easy, um, not very many of you probably, but some of you may find them easy. So you can grab a dumbbell and just hold it in between your legs. And we're gonna try to make those just a little bit harder. Not too heavy. All right, here we go. All right. Whew. All right. Let's take a second here. I'm gonna go back to those set-up twists. Remember to sip on water throughout this workout. All right. Here we go. Just remember, ten on the side. Get a nice full twist. Not a partial, but a really good twist. All right, 10 on each side. All right, good. Whew. All right. Back to push-ups again. One more round of these. 
Um, if you have one of these guys, most of you will not use these, but for those who want to make them extra hard, remember the third round. Let's see if you can add even a little more resistance by pulling a little more tight. Oh yeah, this will make it fun. All right, here we go. All right, 15, 10 to 15 reps, here we go. Wow. Whew. All right, back to chin ups one more time. If you can handle it, you can add even a little more weight, a little heavier dumbbell. All right, let's just take a second here. Just a second to catch your breath. All right, well, I guess rest is over. Here we go. Ooh, last set of chin-ups here. Let's make it good. Oh, that's fun. I really enjoy that. All right. Let's get those twisty sit-ups done with. Remember this twist helps work some of the sides here as well as the abs and the oblique area, so. All right. Here we go. Good. All right. Oh, you thought you were done with push-ups, but you're not. Oh, we're going to do a different kind of push-ups. So this round, we're going to go an angled push-up. So I'm going to start back off with just those push-up handles. So instead of going wide like this, we're going to bring them in and tilt them a little bit at an angle that way. And really squeeze that inner chest as you do these guys. I like a nice squeeze on this. So here we go. We're going to do 10 to 15 reps again. Nice squeeze in that inner chest. Oh, 
Wow. Those are not easy after doing all those uh, power push-up push-ups. Just doing them with the handles has become a challenge now. All right, go ahead and uh, grab a chair. Um, any kind of chair will work. And grab a set of dumbbells as well. Um, we're gonna start anywhere between 10 and 20 pounds to start with. So if you're stronger, go more to the 20 pounds, not quite as strong, go down to about 10 pounds or anywhere in between that range, depending on how strong you feel you are. So a chair and a set of dumbbells between 10 and 20 pounds. All right, so you guys are all getting ready here. I grab my dumbbells. We're going to do wide dumbbell rows. And we're going to lean all the way forward and do a wide dumbbell row, really squeezing the upper back muscles. So here we go. So lean all the way down this way, and we're gonna not come in, but we're gonna come straight out like that. Keep your arms squared, come out, 15 reps. You don't wanna use too much weight on these because you can't get that good squeeze. All right, good. Yeah. All right. We're going to go back down on the ground again. I'm going to do a reverse crunch. But these are a leg cross reverse crunch. So let me show you these guys. So what you're going to do is lay down your back. And you're going to cross one leg, so your ankles over your thigh. And you're going to do a reverse crunch like this. You're going to do 10 like this, and then do 10 on the other side. All right, so here we go. 10 reps. Make sure this leg doesn't come up. Keep it squared. Really get the hips roll up. All right, now switch sides. All right, good. Uh, back to push-ups again. I'm gonna try the power push-up. I don't know how much resistance I can handle this time around. I'm getting kind of tired, so we'll see what I can do. Let's see what you guys can do. All right, remember angled, a little closer together and angled push-ups, 10 to 15 reps. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, giving out. Oh, I need another sip of water. Whew. You guys are staying hydrated here. Let's bring that chair back out, or he probably left it out. Um, if that last round was easy, then you can grab slightly heavier pair of dumbbells. I'm going to go just a little bit more. All right, remember 15 reps. Everyone's doing 15 reps. Here we 
we go. Remember not to go too heavy on those guys. Um, it's hard to get a good squeeze when you go too heavy. So don't try to act overly tough um, and try to use so much weight you just kind of throw it around. It's better to use a little less to get a nice squeeze. All right, here we go. Back to those leg cross, reverse crunches. Hand on the side, so here we go. And switch sides. All right, Whew. all right, Whew. one more round of each of those. Oh. If you guys are having fun here, Whew. should be working up a sweat now. All right, whatever you got left in this last set, if you have one of these guys, you want to make it a little harder, you can. I'm starting to give out. I wasn't even able to get 15 on the last one. So see what you can do on this last one. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, that was fun. All right. I'm going to bring this chair back out. Remember on these workouts, guys, you may not be able to keep up at this pace. So I would recommend is if you can't keep up at this pace, just take a break. Whenever you need it, you can just work back in when you're able to. Um, you don't have to get everything in. If you keep with these workouts, you'll be able to get everything in, but it might take a little while to work up to that. So just do what you can do. Take breaks if you need them. Work back in when you're ready. All right, here we go. Last set of the wide rows. All right, good. Woo! Put these dumbbells away. Done with these for now, anyways. All right, just got one more set of those. Leg cross, reverse crunches. All right. Number 10 on the side. Here we go. Really roll those hips up. Good. All right. We're done with chest and back. Whew. But, sorry to say, that doesn't mean we're done with push ups. Oh, you thought that meant we were done with push ups. But you can do triceps with push ups as well as chest. So, 
We'll be doing those here in a minute. All right, so let's get some dumbbells ready. Um, I would say anywhere between 20, or sorry, 10 to 20 pound dumbbells to start with um, as our start weight, and then we can um, up it from there in the second round, second, third round. So we're gonna do three rounds of this next one. So let's get those dumbbells ready. Anywhere between 10 and 20 pound dumbbells. I'll give you a little time to get them ready. All right, so we're going to just do regular dumbbell curls, and we're going to curl them up at the same time, so curl them up together. We're only doing 10 reps, so everyone's doing 10 reps on these guys, so start like this, and then we're going to rotate as you come up, so 10 reps. And there we go, good. All right, put those away for a second anyways. And now is where we break out those push-up handles again. All right, so we usually use push-ups, like I said, for chest. And you're either keeping the elbows out wide or bringing them in slightly, squeezing the chest. This time we're gonna keep the elbows locked in. And so what we're gonna do is you're gonna reverse the grip on the push-up like this, keeping the elbows locked into sides as you're pushing with the back of your arms now, your triceps. So it's gonna be reverse grip, elbows all the way in, push-up. A lot of you guys, these are harder than regular push-ups. So a lot of you guys, it's fine to go to your knees on these. Even if you didn't on the regular push-ups, you may need to on these. So here we go. I'm gonna try them right here. Hopefully you guys can see me here. All right, so we're gonna do reverse grip like this 10 to 15 reps whatever you can do on these here we go Oh man, especially after all those other push-ups. Woo, doing them like that is hard. All right. All right. We're gonna do what's called a bird dog next. I know, it sounds a little weird. Um, this is gonna work your lower back, and your glutes as well. Um, I don't want you guys rushing through these. I want you to kind of squeeze each rep out. So what you're gonna do is extend, so you're on all fours like this. And you're going to extend your opposite leg with your opposite arm and do 10 on each side, holding for a second at the top. So extend like that. So 10 on each side. And good, all right. All right, you guys can get those dumbbells ready again. If those were, that first round was easy of curls, dumbbell curls, then add a little more weight to that. All right. Let's get those dumbbells ready. All right, remember everybody's doing 10 reps here. Here we go. Oh, 
Ugh. All right, there we go. All right. Whew. Back to those reverse grip push-ups. Boy, these reverse grip push-ups are tough. I've done a lot of push-ups today, so saving the hardest ones for last is not easy. All right, see what you got here. Here we go, round two. See if you can get up to 10 or even up to 15 of these, whatever you can do. Here we go. Oh man. Wow. Woo. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. Never do too many push ups, right? Yeah. All right, let's go to those bird dogs. Number 10 on the side. Squeeze and hold. And good. All right. Got one more round each of those arm exercises. We're getting there, guys. All right, let's get those dumbbells ready. If you can sneak even a little more on this third round, go for it. I'm going to try a little more myself. I like to try to get these workouts done under 45 minutes, so I try to keep things moving to get you guys done on time. You guys got a busy lifestyle, I know, so I like to get you done quick and on with everything else you got to do. So here we go, 10 reps. Good. All right. Oh, let's see what you got left on these reverse grip. I don't know how many guys got anything left. All right, let's finish it out. I would give you a rep range, but you're probably just going to go until you till you collapse, so <laughs> whatever you got here, here we go. May not be very many. Ah! Woo. All right, that was fun. Oh, keep finding myself uh, going back to the water a little more often now. Uh. All right. Here we go. Bird dogs. Last one in the bird dogs. Don't run. 
rush through these. If you get done a lot faster than me, you're definitely going too fast. Take your time, squeeze it out. And good. All right, we're almost there. So, two more exercises and two more sets of each exercise. So, we're going to go back and forth between one more bicep exercise and one more tricep exercise two times. Then, you guys will be done. So, almost there. All right, so get ready. A light set of dumbbells this time. Um, I don't know, you're going to go down as low as 8 pounds, maybe even less for some of you, but probably 8 to maybe 15 pounds on these. This next set of curls is going to be hard. So I'm really going to challenge you guys on these. Everyone's going to do 15 reps, and you're going to have to hold the opposite side. So whew, let me show you what this looks like. So you're going to hold one. Halfway like that, so halfway up. Your arm is perfectly squared, and then the other one, you're going to do a full range of motion rep like that. And when you're done with five of those, you're going to hold and do five more on this side. And then five more, five more, so you've done 15 on each side. So just follow me. I'll walk you through it. It's going to look confusing, but just follow along with me. Um, so hold this side halfway up, exactly halfway up. Do five reps on the right side. Here we go. One two, three, four, five, now hold it, switch sides, one, two, three, four, five, now hold it, back to the right side, one, two, three, four, oh, these burn, five, hold it, left side, one, two, try to stay with me, three, four, five, back to the right side, <laughs> woo, one, two, three, four, don't rush through it, five, switch, one, two, three, four, and five, good, woo. Oh man, I don't know if any one of you guys are gonna want to try any more weight on that. You can if you want. Whew. Oh, those are hard. Wow. Whew. Not fun. Yeah, they are kind of. All right, so next exercise we're gonna do is dips. So, see a lot of people doing dips wrong, or not dips, sorry. Tricep kickbacks, we did dips the last time we worked out. So what you're going to do for these guys is you've got to lean all the way forward with these dumbbells and keep your elbows up. If your elbows drop at all, the leverage is going to be so you don't feel any resistance. So you've got to keep the elbows up high and kick them out so you get a lot of resistance out of it. So whatever you use on the bicep curls, probably going to use that same weight on the tricep dumbbell kickback. So let's give this a try here. We're going to try and do 15 reps again. Remember to keep those elbows up high as we do these. All right, good. All right. We're going to get a sip of water here. Last time before we're done, probably. All we got to do is one more of each of those. Not an easy task, though, with those dumbbell curls. These are called static curls. So you're holding one side up as you're curling the other side. So, all right. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get these done. So let's just get this out of the way. So we're done with our workout for the day. All right, here we go. Last set of static curls. Hold one side up. Five reps on the right side. One, 
two, three, four, and five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Right side. One, two, three. Oh man, it's starting to go out. And five, switch. One, try to hang in there with me. Two, three, four, five. One more on each side. Try to hang in there with me. One, two, three. Trying to rush through them. Four, five, switch. One, two, three. Four and five. Oh, wow. Oh, it's killed. Burn. Whew. All right, one more set of dumbbell kickbacks and you're done. Whew, we're going to get done even a couple minutes early. Woo. Whew. All right. This is it. Here we go. Everything you got left in this last set. Here we go. Squeeze them out. 15 reps. Try to get to the 15. Oh. Oh, I need a little break. Oh. All right, finish them out. And done. Oh, good job, guys. Oh, hope you got a lot out of that workout. If you stuck with me, you definitely did. So, nice job. We will see you next time. Thanks.